Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. So today's topic in prosthodontics is Christensen's phenomenon. So it is nothing but a gap occurring in natural dentition or between the opposing posterior flat occlusal rims when the mandible is protruded. So that is a creation of posterior open bite. When a person bites the anterior teeth or the anterior teeth comes in edge to edge contact so there will be a creation of posterior open bite okay so it can lead to instability in full dentures so that is a problem when we are creating a denture uh, this will be a problem this will create instability this will remove or it get dislodged from the posterior region because it will give the uh, rotating force on the posterior aspect of the denture so we need to apply compensatory curves compensatory curves on the teeth arrangement in order to uh, solve this problem of posterior open bite or Christensen's phenomenon so in case of denture we need to have the simultaneous anterior and posterior contacts when the mandible is protruded so it should not be there in denture so we need to have simultaneous anterior and posterior contact when the patient uh, brings the mandible to touch the or brings the lower denture to touch the maxillary central incisors or the front teeth so we need to have a simultaneous contact for the anterior and posterior in order to solve this problem okay and this gap this gap is always proportional to the contalar angle okay so it is proportional to the contalar angle so we need to use a wax wafer to record it may record it then it can be subsequently be used to set the contalar angle on the adjusted articulator so this contalar angle should be recorded using a wax wafer and it should be adjusted on the articulator so we get a simultaneous contact on the anterior and posterior teeth when the mandible is coming forward so Christensen's phenomena is it can this is on the lateral side when the patient uh, when we are viewing it from the lateral side so the problem is also there which is known as transverse Christensen's Christensen's phenomena okay and, uh, when we have a, a well adapted occlusal rims and the patient produce a lateral movement so lateral excursion and creation of a v-shaped gap between the rims and the molar region of the balancing side so this is a working side this is a non-working side or balancing side so working side there is no problem but when he moves the uh, Danger on lateral excursion so there will be creation of v-shaped uh, space in the molar region of balancing side so that is known as transverse Christensen phenomena so this can be the sagittal phenomena and this is the transverse phenomena okay so sagittal phenomena when the anterior teeth are in contact there will be a v-shaped space creating at the posterior molar region that is a posterior open bite and the transverse phenomena is when the patient is uh, doing the lateral movements uh, the teeth are the occlusal rims are perfectly contacting at the working side but creating a v-shaped space at the non-working side or balancing side so these two are the christensen's phenomena uh, it needs to be corrected using the compensatory curves so i'll come up with a new topic in Prosthodontics, thank you.